What's going on guys? Fish Games here. We are opening the ninth box of Sorcery Beta with Magus of the Bargain. Check out more of a dork on Etsy. Link is in the description for some of these awesome unofficial Sensei Divining Tops. Oh yeah, baby. Welcome back. You're watching Magus of the Bargain on Fish Games. And we're opening Eric's Curiosa Game Sorcery Contested Round Beta. A release weekend, <clears throat> 2023, an historic event. I'm gonna do this without getting a paper cut. <laughs> All right, peel this off. You get the void sticker right there. Oh, look at this! Box topper, six for six, uh, eight for nine. Yep. Box topper. Our first box opening. Uh, there was not a box topper, so. Of nine box openings, one of those boxes did not have a box stopper. All right, we've got the Elite Riddle Sphinx Riddle Box. We got the ordinaries. So in the alpha boxes, they have 39 packs. In the beta boxes, they only have 36. I'm not sure why they made that change, um, but <clears throat> maybe they were just feeling generous with the, their alpha. So we're really trying to get the, the stone, the philosopher's yep. stone, right? Yep. And one more onyx core. And one that more onyx a, core. Oh, look at this. This is a uh, the lighthouse. And if you don't like the lighthouse, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Abundance. And these are some uh, dual sites as well. And our favorite frog, exceptional beast. Elite Recurring Spectre. I haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, some some of these I have not seen a lot of because um, they are rare. <clears throat> Especially the Elites and Uniques. That's why we're putting them out for you to look at as I blaze through these Exceptionals and Ordinaries. Comment below if you have a favorite sorcery card. Yeah. Pendulum of Peril. What's what's your favorite uh, sorcery card? I still like the design of that of that sort of like the one that time walks herself. Yeah. Because um, drawing three is just that good. I'll give my opponent another turn if I can have three cards any day. <laughs> with those three cards I can deal with whatever they do on that extra turn. It's a control player's mindset. If it's aggro, then it's different. Then it might be a problem. <laughs> right. Might be a big problem. But, but if you get to too. choose when to do it, because your your avatar actually goes to the site and activates the ability. Mm. It's just a nice option to have. You've got a lot of uh, color of out of space. Color of outer space. Oh, look at that. The desert. These shiny cards are so shiny. They're so shiny. <laughs> They're so shiny. <laughs> and a wave shaper. Elite Dragon. I like the dragons. <clears throat> Seems like a lot to get out. It's like seven threshold. Mm -hmm. Seems to come out really late in the game. Um, probably not playable in an aggressive environment. Here's a five drop dragon, which is probably more possible to get out. And a five drop a phoenix. Is airborne. There aren't that many variants in this, in this game, so it's, um, it's been nice and easy to get these uh, these piles <clears throat> all squared away. 
Originally, the, the name of the game was called Grid Lords. A crater eyes foil. That is nice. Eight drop. Damn, that's a big boy. Yep. Boom. Anyone watch Akira? Oh, I love Akira. Canada. That's one of the first like <clears throat> <ant> series <throat> anime that I watched. I actually have the uh, graphic comic novel. Not the nice. comics, but like. Right. Even though this is ordinary, this is probably going to be sought after um, just because some direct damage. I don't know. Three mana might not be good at all. You have two damage to one unit at each location along its path. So it's kind of like a split bolt. Ooh, the beast is out there. <clears throat> Philosopher's Stone, come on! <laughs> yeah, these sorcerer boxes, they're just Philosopher's Stone or boxes. There's nothing else interesting in these boxes. You just <laughs> open it, looking for one card. <laughs> no, seriously though, if you're opening packs looking for one card, you're better off just... Just buy. Biting the bullet and like yeah, buying the single. single card. Elite Stonehenge. What is it even? Standing stones, that's what it is. Hey Changeling. We were joking the other night that like changelings were cats. So you just uh, put a cat in, in in exchange for a human baby. And the parents are like, yay, we got a kitty. Oh and they, they won't even notice. That's what the fairies will do. Not life advice. <laughs> if you're literal fairies, you can you can exchange. Oh, that's good. Man, your hands must be killing you after opening. No, these, these packs are very easy to open. They just like fall apart. Okay. <clears throat> Elite Magic, Chaos Twister, Overpower. Keep thinking these shiny ones are going to be super cool, but they're a bunch, a bunch of ordinary shinies. Four commons. They are really nice, though. Exceptionals, Elite Undead, and... An old sail anchorman. Old salt anchorman. Planar gate. Another anchorman. And I like that there's not a foil in every pack. Because as much as I like the shiny foils, you get them too much, yeah. they're not special. Anymore. Yeah. yeah, and you just, you've only gotten common, so mm -hmm. hopefully you'll get something good here. In this box, yeah. Something unique or something. I've gotten good, some good foils in oh, other yeah. boxes. Definitely. But like I said, sometimes the box can just like give you the you good cards, sometimes the, box. And the bad. And so, like, if, if every box is the same, you would have the pre constructed decks, which are great. Um, but it's the variance. That's uh, the thrill of the chase. Oh, look at this. That looks, that looks familiar, right? Mm -hmm. That's the uh, most popular playmat design in sorcery on a card. You can have two in your deck. The unicorn shark and we haven't gotten hardly any unique cards in this. Exceptional scavenging fiend. Exceptional is like uncommons, elites are like rares, ordinaries are like commons, and unique are sort of like mythics. 
with a caveat that you only need one unique for a playset. So um, I think that the elites are going to be more sought off after than the uniques. So Battle Mage, that is nice. Let's see here that. <clears throat> Deals three damage when he attacks. That's pretty cool. Cone of Flame. I think that I may have missed one in that. I guess I put Ordinaries. Nope. Yeah, I guess the Battle Mage uh, took the place of the um, Elite. Possibly. Some exceptional magic and an Elite Sight. Some ordinary sorcery cards and a geomancer. Yeah, the Elementalist, Battle Mage, and Death Speaker are the, are the special three special avatars that I've heard of. And a self same simulacrum. We got one of this in foil. Now I have a playset. And we have some ordinary beasts. Still didn't manage to get this under 10 minutes, but hopefully you are entertained. Are you not? Are you not entertained? Elites, ordinaries. Artwork's just so amazing. That's why we got distracted. This is the one. So after opening all of this product, are you, oh, are nice. you happy with what you got? Oh, definitely, so far. That's good. That's when you open a bunch of boxes and you're, you're like, stoned. oh, I got nothing. I got shit. <laughs> so it's, the variance isn't quite that bad. Um, yeah, I feel like we got to see it really a lot of the cards. I mean, hopefully you probably got 90% of the cards, I don't know. 91% with this one. Look at this smokestack of Gnack. Look <laughs> at Ian Miller's artwork. These creatures on top of the smokestacks. That's crazy. Crazy good. And another Ian Miller. Speaking of unique Ian Miller arts with the warp spasm. Even exceptional. I don't think I've seen this one yet. The Adept Illusionist. The Gnomes. Trollses. Imagine if the starter decks are all like randomized. <laughs> People aren't expecting them to be. It's just not not really it's like the, it's not like a set deck list. That would be something. Yeah. No, they they well, we were talking about before. We, I want to figure out if there's any cards in the uh, beta decks that are not in the standard beta set. Hmm. That would be interesting. But I think they're just starter decks for people who are uh, learning how to play. They want cards that they can shuffle up and play without worrying about or damaging a super valuable card. Like this. Like the Aquamarine Core. Oh! Nice. We got another one. Aquamarine Core. Put on top of this site. People can't really see it. They know what it is. <laughs> you know what that does. You know what that does. That's the mock sapphire of the set. In case you know. Last pack. This. Last pack, so it's the... Oh, elite. And last pack in the 
right, well, we got a, a bunch of foils. We got one, okay, so exceptional, two, three, three exceptionals, two elites foils, and four ordinary foils. Um, we got a bunch of unique ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uniques. Only one dual um, sight. And we got 29. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6, 27 of these elites. We've got a bunch of one, two, three, four, five, six avatars, including the Battle Mage. Nine boxes opened, no Philosopher's Stone, but is that the only one we're missing? I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to take a look. Thank you guys for all watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to support the channel, check out More of a Dork on Etsy. Link is in the description. Get 10% off some of these unofficial Sensei Divining Tops and some of these other awesome game-related things that they have. Thanks for showing up and hanging out with us, Magus of the Bargain. Fun. I love doing these box openings with, with you guys, and we will be doing plenty more. Thanks again for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, do those YouTube things, and ring the bell to get notified when we crack more of these boxes and play some of these games. Peace!